Football fans today have tons of great entertainment options to choose from, from video games to simulations to fantasy games, mobile games. Football fans got it all. But what did football fans in 1985 do? This is before the internet, before 3D graphics, before online play, before even tech mobile. Well, this is what they did. I went right in my dad's basement and he's got Canadian armchair football. A classic board game from 1985. Made for ages 7 and up, this game promised to deliver a full football game, start to finish. It was fully licensed by the CFL and it had defunct teams like the Ottawa Rough Riders and the Montreal Concords. So I grabbed a friend and we cracked her open and found out what's inside. There were quite a few things in the box so I decided to spread them all out here so you can see everything. Now, the basic premise of this game is you are the coach of your team, and you get to select all the plays that your team does when you have the ball. Everybody gets a playbook, and you can select your plays from there. Rolling two die on every play determines what actually happens on that play. It includes everything in a game of football. You can do anything as crazy or as conventional as you want. If you understand football strategy, that will obviously be a benefit because you know when to pass and when to run, but there is no play clock, so a new player can take his time and look at the rules and look at what plays might be a, a benefit to him in that certain scenario. The game is played on a full Canadian football field board uh, with down markers, dice, and player pieces that indicate where on the field we are. In this scenario here, it's second down and about eight yards. Uh, on my first down, I went for a rush, but only got about two yards, so I need about eight yards to get that first down marker to keep this going. You can have a look at my playbook here, grab the dice. So I don't want to go for a short screen pass, that probably won't give me enough yards. So I'm going to have a look at the long pass here. That should get me about eight yards. Uh, we're going to give our luck go to the long pass. We rolled an eight, so now we're going to have a look at uh, what eight gets us, and uh, oh, well, we got it incomplete. Now we're going to rage, blow up the board, and now it's not going to matter because we got the stat sheets right here. You can keep all the stats, just like a real football game, all the way down to the players, too. Here's a scenario where my friend Jay is in my red zone, about 18 yards away from getting a touchdown at second and six. He's arguing with my brother because my brother wants him to play it safe, conservatively go for the first down. Jay wants to go for a kill shot though, so he's going to go for a risky, long option run. He's going to take his risk, and here it goes. Okay. Look, look at, look at that. Yeah, okay. It's good. Yeah. Okay. That's like this game was fun, and it did a really good job of emulating the offensive play calling experience. It was really cool to construct drives and really feel like the plays you were calling were creating successful drives down the field for touchdowns and field goals. The only downfall is there's really no defense. The offense picks a play and a dice roll determines anything that could happen on that play. But this is still a fun game and a great teaching tool and a great product from the time it's from. Thanks Canadian Armchair Football.